Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel or if you're not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the makeup releases that I see on Instagram and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if anything is a total washout. My hair is a mess today, <laughs> and I did not want to make today a wash day. I'm going to wash it tomorrow. <laughs> I am filming this on Sunday, so it's a couple of days early. I just didn't want to do it. So it, the, the cute wig is back. Say hello. <laughs> I am just going to jump right in because I feel like, uh, not that everything's gone back to normal, but I feel like in the makeup world, you know, we had that slump where like in March, April, May, maybe even into June, like the, the releases were really decreased and it seemed like everyone was chilling out. Now I feel like all the new releases have ramped right back up and we're kind of where we were pre-pandemic, you know? So let's just jump in because I'm, I'm sure I have so many thoughts. Alright, so normally I go in order and either go from where I stopped off on Trend Moods page and work my way back to the present or start from recent and work my way back. But today I want to talk about something that is absolutely ridiculous and I can't believe this is what it's come to. So, Jeffree Star. After everything that happened with Dramageddon and everything being pulled back up and everything with Shane Dawson, after all of that, after all of that, he is silent for like weeks online and then comes back with like the world's probably second worst apology video of all time. And he only puts that apology video out there because he wants to start posting again so he can get ready for his next release. This is the next release. <laughs> now I don't I'm not a prude by any stretch of the imagination but this is this is why you you ran PR teams and this is why you had to apologize and pretend like you cared about Black Lives Matter and about other people was for for this this is uh, the worst palette I think I've seen and it's not even just a palette. He's suddenly coming out with a whole bunch of, like, other merch and shit, too. Like, come on. I hope this flops. I don't think it's going to because so many people will believe his apology so they can continue to enjoy his makeup. But I, I want this to flop. Let's start with the big palette. This big palette is... I saw someone comment that it's basically a shade range, like a foundation shade range, in a palette. And that's perfect. Like, that's but that's what this is. It's it's not interesting. It's not dimensional. It, there's There's nothing here nothing it's nothing and the fact that he calls it this is gonna get demonetized he calls it the orgy palette and then the shade names like i said i'm not a prude but the shade names are kind of disgusting like and people have uh, pointed out how some of these are just downright offensive like to people of color even though he just apolo apologized for being racist again <sighs> man it's this whole collection is like, it's like that subreddit r slash like I have sex, like you're bragging about having sex when you're not that experienced. Not to be mean, but this is what it sounds like. It sounds like someone bragging about something that doesn't happen to them that often. And uh, eh, it's not even, it's not a good palette. And then that's, that's just the big palette. The mini palette, it looks like it's all shimmers because this big palette looks like it's all matte. And I could google and confirm that but i don't give a fuck so i'm not going to but it looks all matte and then it looks like the smaller palette is all shimmers and then it's just like a bunch of neutral shimmers and then a hot pink in the middle what would you do with that palette other, i mean other than throw it out <laughs> anyway so that it looks like trash the packaging is just oh really is this is this what we're is this what we're doing and then there's some lipsticks that are coming out which okay who cares glosses again who cares i think there's more loose powders coming out which I'll, again i don't care mirrors and it's just like really this is you have to really contextualize this this was the reason this was all the merch and all the product he had basically being produced all year this is the reason why he apologized and this is the reason why he was doing so much damage control is because he wanted this to release and do well and i really don't want it to do well i, I think it is because people will do anything to forgive uh racists and sexists because they identify with them uh i i want it to fail but i don't think it will 
so I mean I'm definitely not going to be buying it but it's it's a trash color story it's a trash theme it's a trash name and that's that, that thing it's it's trashy like there there are more classy ways of going about this you know but that would be expecting too much from Jeb Bush Starship so this is actually quite fascinating apparently ColourPop is now going to be sold at Target I mean, I'm sure this is great for tar for ColourPop to expand more, but I thought, like, they were fine within Ultas. And I have to say, maybe it's just my local Ultas, but the majority of the Ultas around me couldn't keep them in stock, which is great for them. They're selling out. But, like, as someone who wants to go into the store to see ColourPop items and buy them, it was frustrating to literally have it sold out whenever I went to my Ulta. So, I don't know. Maybe this will help with that problem a little bit, but, yeah. I don't know. And then we also don't know if it's going to be a limited stock. I don't know if it's going to be the whole, I don't think it's going to be their whole, you know, line. So I'm, I'm going to be interested to see what they actually carry at Target. So I could have swore Urban Decay came out with a similar palette to this one. This is the Stoned Vibes palette. Uh, I don't know. What, what happened to Urban Decay, guys? I feel like Maybe not as bad as ABH, but they also kind of went through that same route of just like releasing a bunch of stuff in a row and it not being that great. And <sighs> yeah, I mean, the last Urban Decay release I think I was excited for was their holiday palette from like two years ago. So yeah, um, I don't know. Yeah. So another celebrity is coming out with a new brand. At least this one is just skincare, but like because of that, I won't ever try this. Ashley Tisdale is coming out with the Frenchie, Frenchie brand. And I guess it came out or it's going to come out Monday. It's, yeah, I'm sorry, but like, I think I made this point before, but do you remember back in like the late 90s, early 2000s where every celebrity had a perfume? Like Britney Spears had a perfume, every everyone had a perfume. Not to bat not to like drag on them. The Britney Spears Curious perfume, it was like my preteen years right there. I loved that perfume. But that was the thing every celebrity did. Now it's like every celebrity just has a makeup or skincare line. And there's a huge difference between body sprays and perfume and makeup and skincare makeup i could just be like okay it's it's the new fragrance that everyone's going to do but when it comes to like skincare or things you ingest you know for your health that's a line and that's not i mean i'm not personally going to trust my skin care and anything else my health with a money grabbing celebrity so i'm just gonna put that there i mean everyone's free to their own opinions but i would i don't think i'll ever try a celebrity skincare brand Oof, so this palette, hmm, I kind of, okay, so this is from Morphe, I don't, I'm not gonna buy anything from Morphe, the bottom half of the palette actually looks kind of interesting, but like, the whole thing together is a jumbled hot mess, it's a mess, yeah, I mean, I, I only like the yellows and the mustards, and then the top, like, the top two rows, it just looks like a modern renaissance kind of dupe, or wannabe dupe, so to say. Uh, I don't know. I'm uh, yeah, I'm not interested in this. There's apparently also I think lip crayons. Not no, no. So ColourPop came out with a new collection. This is the ColourPop Land. It's a Candyland, I believe, official collab. Yes, it's an official collab with Candyland. I have to say the the palette is actually kind of cute. It's pastels, but they're not like overly used pastels. It's very cute. Um, the, what I'm actually interested in, it looks like, uh, Super Shock blushes. Let me double check. They're swir yeah, they're swirled super, super, swirled super shock blushes. These look gorgeous. I kind of want to try those because I've never tried a super shock blush before. Those look kind of really pretty. And, uh, the rest of the collection, the lip glosses, the glow powder I'm not interested in, but like those blushes, I'm... Um, I really want to try those. And the palette, it's nice, but I don't think I would go for just the palette. So Fenty is releasing a few new products. There are two new eyeshadow palettes, one of which I would have jumped if I had not tried two of her eyeshadow palettes in the six, the snap shadows. Um, it's basically greens and earth tones. It looks stunning in the palette, but I've tried 
two of her snap shallot snap sh- <laughs> snap palettes snap shadow palettes the peachy one was okay the smoky one was trash 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 so because of that i don't think as much as i want this palette this palette looks really pretty and i want it but i'm not i'm not gonna let myself get it because i know the shadows are so hit or miss Uh, anyway i mean they look gorgeous but i I don't need them so the other palette is a um plummy mauve neutral palette again i do not need that and um there are some lip glosses or are they chaps they're lip balms i'm not gonna spend that much money on a lip balm i'm not um and and there's oh so there's coming out um with new shades of the mascara and there's a green mascara now i've tried one green mascara in my life and it did not work out well for me if you missed (laughs) so i have a story time about a green mascara gone awry i'll throw that up in the cards if you want to catch that but that's the only green mascara i've tried i personally would love to try another green mascara so that caught me i was like "Ooh, the green mascara and then they've got like a mauve mascara and then they've got like a lipstick to match i think that would be pretty that's that's what i'd be leaning more towards either that green mascara or like the mauve mascara and the lipstick to match how mm. <laughs> so ColourPop has these new stamps there's a moon a heart and a star and i they're cute but i really don't think i would use these enough to justify paying eight dollars each yeah for that much i'll just use whatever liner i have around and do my best to draw something (laughs) even though i'm sure it wouldn't be that great so i'm sure this is going to be overpriced yeah i'm just sure it's going to be overpriced sol de janeiro is coming out with some lip butters so basically a chapstick that's tinted and it's called brazilian kiss i'm sure it's going to smell just like their famous scent which is tempting but there's no price on here yet but everything they come out with is so overpriced so i know for sure it gonna be overpriced so i think i might be one of the only people who like has no idea who this is but when i heard lauren conrad was coming out with a uh, a beauty brand my first thought was who's lauren conrad <laughs> uh, i guess she was on the hills i don't know i don't watch any of those kind of shows i had no idea who lauren conrad is but this is just another you know celebrity beauty brand like i said every celebrity is doing it now so not interested and most likely won't try anything from it so hourglass is taking a page from nars's book and taking one of their shades like the orgasm blush from nars and making a whole collection out of it so for hourglass this is the at night shade and it's a blush a lip oil and a lipstick and as much as i like think the blush looks nice i would never try that lip oil it's way too expensive just get a chapstick or a blistex from cvs i've never tried their lipsticks they look so fancy but i'm not willing to spend that much on a lips well it's not true i'm not willing to spend that much on this lipstick i paid more for other lipsticks but i'm not that interested you know you know what i mean so as much as the blush looks nice i've got an hourglass face palette that i don't use nearly enough and i've got blushes in there so i don't need this uh, I guess Benefit is coming out with a new product, and honestly, I saw this and I didn't think it was a new product. <laughs> this is the Brow Micro Filling Pen. Now, a couple years ago, I tried, I think it was a Stila pen for my brows, and I liked it for a long time, but I tend to go through, like, phases with my brows. Recently, I really just like filling it in with a black um, cream shadow and a black eyeshadow just i like stark brows i'm doing a little them i'm they're a little bit light today but it's because i actually filmed a full face with an eyeshadow palette that'll be up in like the next week or so so this isn't my usual like eyebrow routine um but usually i like to just go for a nice stark black brow um but i did try a pen a few years ago and i liked it but they were very light on me so i'm not mm, I'm not either way on this i'm probably not gonna get it but it is kind of funny seeing benefit come out with a new product that just it sounds like they already had this product just to me <laughs> knowing what they already have oh so surprising no one abh has some new products what is this there are some lip stains hmm there's a brow pen oh so everyone's coming out with brow pens now huh <laughs> um and they're coming out with a mini version of their setting powder not interested no thank you i'm just no thank you 
Oh, so this is another big brand announcement. Um, Kendo Vegan Kindness Beauty. Kendo Vegan Beautiful Kindness is coming to Ulta. Now, I don't want to hold this against them since they basically did what we were looking to do. They bought out their controversial owner. They changed the name, even though it was a stupid name to change to. Um, and basically, they did everything that we asked them to do. So I do want to support the brand going forward. Eventually, I do want to go and like purchase some new products from them. But they're kind of a joke now, <laughs> just, just being honest. It is interesting to see that Ulta has picked them up. Because I thought it wasn't, it's a Kendo. It's called Kendo, no, it's not. Right, isn't it Ken? I, I, I forgot the actual name. I was making fun of it so much. But wasn't this a Kendo brand? And I thought Kendo brands were exclusive to Sephora. So I'm a little bit confused about this. And if this opens the door to maybe other Kendo brands showing up at Ulta, because I gotta say, Ulta's rewards, a lot better than Sephora. And if they had a, a lot more of the exclusive brands that Sephora had, I would 100% choose Ulta over Sephora. Sigma. So I haven't really been excited or interested in any of Sigma's new releases, be it makeup or brushes, in a long time. This is the first palette that's got me like, hmm. So Sigma is releasing, um, looks like some new brushes, some new lip products, and a new palette. And the palette actually is kind of interesting. I mean, it's it seems to be just a play on like the rainbow kind of palette with a, a bunch of neutrals thrown in, but I... I like how it looks. I, I gotta say, I was interested. I think I also, I love the black packaging. I don't think they need to put that brush in there. No one uses the brush that comes with the palette. Just don't put a brush in the palette. But it's interesting. I mean, I don't know how much it Does it say how much the palette is? No, it does not. So mm, it would depend on the, how much the palette is. But the new brush set, I, I do like the all black sleek look. Um, but I don't know if I would pick it up because I'm pretty sure I already have all these brushes because I do love Sigma and I have a lot of Sigma brushes. But that palette, is the first thing that actually got me like thinking about Sigma in a while. Ooh, this looks pretty, but I don't need it. Stop. Burberry is coming out with the Essentials Glow Palette. It's a three in one face palette that comes in two different shades. And it, it's basically just, you know, a face palette. It looks pretty, but I don't need it. This is too expensive. I don't need this. I don't need this. And there's six, oh, the 62 pounds. Uh, hey Siri, how much is 62 pounds in American dollars? 62 British pounds is $81.22. Whoa, that's a lot of monies. Ooh, the dollar is not doing great recently, is it? So that's a lot of money for a face palette yet yeah, now. I don't, no thank, no thank you. Hello, it is once again your friend editing Monica. I am editing this Tuesday night. That is my air conditioning on because it is hot. And there were just a couple of things that came out either recently or just I really wanted to talk about. So bleh, just, we're gonna go. First things first, I just wanted to comment on this because <laughs> Jeffree Star is doing a PR search. Uh, well, you know what? If this is anything like how ABH started with the PR search and then went downhill fast, then maybe that's the direction we want Jeffree Star Cosmetics to go. Ugh, but I saw it trending. I saw the hashtag trending, um, and I, I clicked on it just for curiosity because fuck it, you know? And thankfully, the majority of the people that I saw um, under the hashtag were like calling him out for being a terrible person but there were still people begging to be on the PR list and I have to say just overall these PR searches they're just they're annoying they're annoying it's free promo for the company and it's does anyone else get like really bad secondhand embarrassment because that's kind of what I get when I see other people like groveling for these PR lists a little cringy so anyway that's number one number two is uh, Charlotte Tilbury is going a little too far, I think, with their Pillow Talk line. They're coming out with the Pillow Talk mascara. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't the Pillow Talk line, like, wasn't that a shade? I'm pretty sure Pillow Talk was like a shade of a lipstick or a blush that they created. Like the NARS Orgasm thing, where the, it's basically just a line um, of products. But a mascara? And I'm sure this mascara is going to be like way too expensive, so no thank you. Now on the other side of things, Natasha Denona has come out with these gorgeous chromium liquid eyeshadows. Oh dear lord. 
so I might have already bought three of these mm, I know I know I just put out a video about affordable Stila dupes but I saw these and I saw the swatches and I've really wanted to try more like uh, Natasha Denona products like this and I've never tried any single shadows or single products like this from her brand and I saw I saw the swatches and I just like I almost salivated like I drooled a little bit so yeah so I bought three of them <laughs> um I don't know when they're gonna be coming in but I might do um either another live stream get ready with me to try them out along with some other new makeup that I've got coming so excited all right that's everything that has come in late breaking back to the video Okay, and you know what? I think we caught up mainly, and yeah, I'm not seeing anything else I really want to talk about. I forgot, do I have any updates for this week? Hmm. Not really. I think the only updates I have is I did find a three-pack of my favorite brow gel on Amazon. This is the NYX Control Freak brow gel. It was like three of them for I think $12 or $13. So if it's still available, I will link it down below. But I jumped at that because the brow gel from ABH that I'm using now, I kind of hate it a lot and I didn't want to use it anymore. So I got a three pack of these, really affordable, love it. And then the other new makeup that I've gotten recently has been in my last Tri Beauty box. I did get my August box or Tri Beauty box. I did do a full unboxing and a review of my last box that should be up in uh, the upcoming week, most likely the Friday after this goes up. So make sure you're subscribed and have the bell notification hit so that you'll be notified whenever that goes live. So that is it for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if there's anything I missed or if you want my opinions on. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Oh my god, I cannot wait to put my AC back on. Oh, peekaboo. Peekaboo. Uh -huh. I was too lazy to actually put the bra. The bra. I was too lazy to put the wig on properly and put like a wig cap on and everything. Because it's like 8.30 and uh, I'm an early bird. So I'm about to get ready to go to bed. Because <laughs> I'm old.